welcome back to my channel. Say hey, buddy. Mm. Say hi to everyone. All right, in today's video, as promised, we're gonna go through our packing list. Woo! The other day, Nari went on her first plane ride. Yeah! For the first 30 minutes, she was a nightmare, but for the rest of the time, you were so good. <laughs> yes, you were. The first 30 minutes is probably because mommy screwed up. I boarded first. Don't do that. Board last. <laughs> you did so good. Oh. So good. <gasps> you got words. <laughs> I definitely did overpack on my first flight. I was just really paranoid and, you know, I just wanted to make sure that I had everything because up in the air, well, you don't have anything. There's definitely things that I didn't need, didn't even use at all, huh? and things that I should have brought. So uh, let's go through that list right now. So what I'm packing for is actually a short haul flight, things I would bring onto the plane. And if I was going on a longer flight, say maybe anything above four or five hours, I would probably pack a little bit differently and that's for another video, another time when I have the courage to go a little bit further away, <laughs> then I will do that. But for now, this is uh, a short haul flight packing video. For one, you guys need a travel stroller and you can't see it. Let me put this down. I got some limited space here in my, in my place. So here we go, travel stroller. I'm gonna sit like this. I think when you're traveling, you're gonna need a stroller. So I actually have two strollers. One is the uh, Uppa Baby Vista 2, and uh, amazing stroller, love that stroller. The only problem with that one is, it's huge. It is like massive, okay? And I don't wanna bring that onto a plane while I'm traveling. You want something a bit more compact. This is the Ergo Baby Metro Deluxe. I'm not gonna come here and say this is the best travel stroller ever because guess what? I have nothing to compare it to. So instead, if you guys are looking for a travel stroller, let me just tell you the pros and cons of this bad boy, okay? I got this one as a gift. I'm not gonna get another stroller, okay? Because it, it does what it's supposed to do. So, oh, by the way, this thing here, this thing seat, uh, make sure you get one of these for all of your like travel needs because Nari had so many blowouts I didn't have one of these that it went all over the stroller all over the car seat It was like such a pain to clean. So just an extra protection. This waterproof layer Let's talk about pros of this guy. Hey, it's compact. It's super lightweight Okay, very good for travel. It will compact small enough that you could actually even put it in the overhead bins on the plane. <gasps> it's also super easy to use in the back here. Adjust the seat levels by putting it up and down. Also has this little cool little foot thing. Now let's talk about the cons here for this baby. Con, because of the fact that it is so lightweight, if you try to put anything, like hang things, like your mama bags, I'm sure you guys all have one of these like mama hook things that you put on here. You know and then you hang your your diaper bags and things from it under here well guess what if your baby's not on there you take your baby up this thing is gonna tip real easily it's happened once or twice obviously without nari in it but i put too much stuff went too much shopping in here that it, it just like flipped so on that note not good for that so if you're a person that loves to go shopping and needs storage space well, this is all you got here. My diaper bag barely fits in there. So if you're looking for something with more storage space, this might not be the one for you. Also, because of the fact that this is so lightweight, if you go on a bumpy road, an unpaved road, uh, this thing has no, what do you call that? Uh, tri babe! What? What do you call it when the, the wheels, like, it, when you go on a bumpy road and it doesn't like smoothen out? Oh, it has no shocks. It has no shocks. <laughs> so these wheels have zero shocks. Huh? No shock absorbers. No shock absorbers. So you go on a bumpy road, 
This thing is gonna feel every single bump. Uh, and one time we took this on a trail and Nari just screamed bloody murder because she was like, what is this? It's not good. Um, so yeah, so if you're going to a destination maybe that is very like unpaved, maybe go with a different stroller. So definitely a stroller must pack. Oh, can I just show you guys how this compacts? Okay, and then it just kind of like flips. Yeah, so it just kind of like flips like so, okay? See how small that is? So this actually just goes into the hat rack in the plane. So tiny, look, it's really, really light. We also brought our car seat. We needed a car seat because we parked and we flew and then we had to get an Uber to pick us up. So Ubers don't have car seats, you gotta bring your own. I didn't show you my car seat, it's part of the, uh, the Vista, the Uppa Baby car seat. That one is in our car currently, so I'm not gonna show you guys that, but yeah. Also, bring a car seat. All right, so you're also going to need a carrier of some sort. For the life of me, I can't find the top part of this. I don't know where it went, but this is my hip seat. I'm obsessed with this hip seat. Okay, so this one here uh, is called Eye Angel. It is the number one brand in Korea. So when I went to Korea, I went to the Pekka Joms, the department stores, I went to the baby section. I'm like, listen, Give me the best carrier that you guys have. And this was it. So there's a lot of different parts to it. I'm missing the actual harness part. This is just the hip seat, which I use all the time. Okay, you can adjust it. You just kind of like strap it around and it just makes it so easy for you to carry your baby around. And look, it has a back support. So even if you put pressure at the front, it straightens your back so you're not like, like this all the time, you know, and you suffer from back pain. So this is amazing. Let me just get Nari. Okay, let's uh, show you how this baby works. See, you can do it this way, baby. You can sit this way. You can face mommy. Yeah, you want to face mommy? Yeah. And it's just like a seat. There's also a little dial here. You can see that you can tighten it. Yeah, you like this? And look, so easy. But of course, because you don't have the harness part, you have to hold your baby. Yeah, but it gives them a little bit more freedom and you don't actually have to carry them. You just have to support them, yeah? And you can do it this way too. This way as well. See, we can even dance. So easy, right, baby? And of course, if you guys want a full-on harness, we also have the Tula. You love your Tula, huh? What a great option. For this specific trip, I would most likely just take the hip seat just because the hip seat is just like a belt. It's just so easy, convenient to put on and off. It's not like we're gonna be walking for long periods of time. It's just for like, just, just for transport, you know? Walking through terminals, walking through the plane if we need to, just waiting for a luggage, right baby? I think this is a little too much. Guys, if you're looking for a bag to a carry on bag, diaper bag, Jujube, Jujube, Jujube. Oh my, this thing is amazing. And I'm gonna show you why. First of all, it's so soft. I believe this is waterproof or water resistant. Okay, you can have this strip. Okay, so many pockets, so many zippers for all of your baby needs. I'm gonna show you right now what's inside it, yeah? And what we need, Mwah. Okay, I just took everything out so that I can show you guys what's inside. Okay, so look at all these pockets. There's a front little pocket. Inside, there's pockets for your bottles. You see, a zipper pocket. You can put your passport, clothes. Oh, oh, right? More pockets, more pockets. Little tiny pockets here. Whoops, sorry, I'm not doing this very well. There's side pockets. Oh, what is this? Oh, I'll explain that later. And there's a little coin coin purse as well. Literally, this is like a pocket heaven. Oh, I'll explain this late, later too. <laughs> it also comes with uh, a diaper changing pad. The best bag ever, it's so cute. You're gonna need a diaper changing pad. I know a lot of diaper changing tables, they have their own little pad things, but still. I like to bring my own just to be a little bit more hygienic. This tip I learned from another mom, which I love. They use, you know those pee pads for dogs? So this 
we actually put it together and I put it on top. So if it gets soiled, I can just throw this away, you know? Um, it's great on the go, so I always bring it like this and I put that in my purse. Oh my, I'm, I'm sorry, this looks terrible, but this is actually just like Lysol wipes. I had like a big bulk of them from Costco, so I kind of just put it in a Ziploc bag and I put it in because you guys know that right when I sit down, I sanitize everything, including the seat belts, including the armrest, the chair, the headrest, everything. So I use that to sanitize, keep things clean. When it comes to diapers, I brought a lot of diapers. I think six is the magic number for me because, well, just in case the flight gets delayed, uh, I'll have enough diapers for a full day. Next, of course, we're gonna bring some wipes. Put uh, a bag of wipes in there. And of course, we're gonna need a diaper bomb of some sort. I love this one just because it's a stick format, you know? So we don't, there's no messiness of using the fingers or anything like that. It's nice for on the go. It's really easy to apply. So we have a diaper bomb. So this is a tip that I learned from a dad. My goodness, this is the best tip ever, which is using the doggy bags to put your diapers in. So it just, you know, the mess is contained. And when you throw it away, you know, like crap is not all over the place. You know, it's, it contains the smell. Okay, so it just keeps everything clean and I just like to throw it away this way. So I always keep doggy bags with me. And of course, in case she has blowouts, I always bring a change of clothes. I think two was good enough. And of course, you guys have seen this before because I've mentioned it many, many times. This is the flight attendant's holy grail. This is the Papa's ointment from, I believe it's from Australia. So we all have this as flight attendants because it's for everything. It's for chapped lips, dry skin, it's for rash, it's for um, bug bites, for cuts, burns. We put it on literally everything. I don't know what miracle thing this is. And uh, especially in the air, it gets really dry. So I like to shove it up my nose as well. <laughs> And it keeps everything just moist. So I'll put that in one of the pockets. And of course, I'm gonna bring a hand sanitizer. I, these are these smell so good. This one is rose. I usually get the mandarin or the grapefruit one, but I got boxes and boxes of these from Korea. Now let's move on to food. Nari's not really into solids yet. She's just starting. So I just have a couple of little snackies that she can chew on and a couple of snacks for me. I would say it was quite difficult to breastfeed on the plane and Nari wouldn't actually take the boob on the plane. She preferred the bottle. So this time I'm just gonna bring extra formula. It's definitely a lot more easier. Those that are exclusively nursing, then hey, you don't need any of these. That's even better. You save more space. So I'm actually bringing a couple of sizes. I don't have anywhere in the air that I can store this. I know the flight attendants will store milk for you in the fridge, but it's just so much hassle. So for the big size, she can probably eat majority of this and for a full meal. These little ones I actually really, really like because they will stay fresh at room temperature and I can feed it as she gets hungry, especially for takeoff and landing. This is the perfect size because she doesn't really need that much. This is just to help with unclogging her ears. And I found that this was excellent. So I'm gonna bring both sizes. And of course, we're gonna have to bring empty bottles. Pumping wise, I'm not gonna bring any of my pumps. It's actually going to go into my checked in luggage on the plane, I'm going to pump beforehand and make sure I have the milk and bring that with me so I don't have to carry that on the plane. That being said, if I was going on a long haul flight, I would probably bring the pump. So this is just for short haul, guys. Of course, up in the air, there's a lot of AC, a lot of dust, a lot of just stuff in the air. She gets a lot of stuffy noses. I just wanna make sure that I have something to be able to suck that out. It's just a no little nose sucker here. And I have a nasal spray just to spray and then suck it out i tried the drops she hates them she just screams so this one is a nice no show you oh do you see that it's a really really like nice nice spray and of course we're going to bring nari's favorite toy something to entertain her during the oh hello Bibba. bringing the smallest toys that she likes not the big john mongo ones things that are a little bit more compact we have one little bookie sensory book, a little wind-up toy. This is actually a bath toy that she just likes how it moves like this. <laughs> that thing that makes sounds. She just likes to hold this for some reason. 
I wouldn't play that on the plane. This would drive other passengers bonkers, but she does like holding this. And throughout the airport, if she wants to play with something that makes noise, this is great. I'm also br bringing her favorite teething ring. And ugh, I know, this is a cat toy. I got it for Dexter just to troll him, but she loves this thing. I, I don't know. I don't know. So you guys know on my flight over there I was so scared that I had to bring so many things just to entertain her. I had a separate backpack Just filled with toys. It was just toys. I didn't really need that She was more entertained with what was going on in the plane Just playing with me on my lap with my facial expressions and just doing things It was enough for her. So I don't have to bring that much this time. So one backpack out and I'm going to bring some bibs. I have uh, some burp, burp cloths. And of course, a blanket. I also bought this from Amazon afterwards because on the flight I was like, I wish we had this. A portable footrest. I'm just gonna hang it on the tray. We needed this after Nari fell asleep. It was just like a weird position to carry her. Just to have the legs lifted, it was a lot more comfortable. On the way to LA, we ended up using all of our bags, our backpacks and stuff to put underneath to use that as a footstool. So things to be mindful about using this is this could be a potential uh, trip hazard. So definitely upon takeoff and landing, you don't want this on there, okay, in case of any emergencies. We can't have this on there. If you're the only one in the aisle seat, probably not good to have this as well because people from the min middle or window seat, if they need to get out, they'll probably trip on this as well. So I only recommend this if you have the row or if you have the window seat. Another thing about this is make sure that when you're putting your foot on there, you're not like, tapping or rocking because this is going to be attached to the seat in front of you so this is just for like just to rest your foot you know and just another thing on my iphone i actually signed up for youtube premium <laughs> just so that i can download some miss rachel uh, as an emergency emergency if she's freaking out or crying you bet i'm gonna put a little bit of uh, miss rachel on for her and she will instantly stop so worst case scenario just to have that on hand because there's no wi-fi in some of these flights so just make sure you have it downloaded already onto your account so that you can just easily just play it if you need it i'm also bringing a soothie and of course a clip to go along with the soothie because you don't want these bad boys falling onto the floor of an airplane. It is gnarly, okay? You would just never use it again. So make sure you clip it onto something so she doesn't lose it. I know all of my friends have told me to bring a change of clothes for yourself just because, you know, if it's gonna get on the baby, it's pretty much gonna get on you and if there's could be vomit and whatever it is. I don't wanna bring an extra set of clothes just because it's gonna, that's too much to bring. It's gonna get a lot of space. So uh, instead, I'm just going to wear layers, right? So that if anything happens, I can take it off just in case I can just like swap those out. And just a quick tip for you, before you get onto the plane, before the airport, you know how they check all of your liquids and stuff, it's best to put all of your liquids already in, in the Ziploc pouch. So you could just take it out quickly during security so that you don't uh, you don't have any delays you just like pop that into your bag and then just whip it out just so you're aware security might actually test one of these they did do that for us so you might have to use the milk right away just to make sure that you're not bringing anything suspicious i guess <laughs> another great tip i saw in the comments from my last video was from a mom who said um they put everything that they need in mini ziploc bags so nothing falls out of your diaper bag in the plane because the last thing you want is your toys just like falling all over the place or this falling all over the place so um if you need something you just pull out the ziploc and it's all in there i thought that was a great tip this bag i haven't had a problem on the way to la just because there is a zipper and nothing really fell out per se in the bag so um, I'm just gonna keep it as it is, but for those that are just kind of have like open bags or a backpack or maybe, you could separate it in mini Ziploc bags and that'll make it more organized for you guys. That's a great tip, thanks for sharing. Oh, and I almost forgot. I always bring a little bit of Tylenol as well because you never know, just in case. 
or for any problems that that might happen probably won't use it this i will always bring everywhere <laughs> and you guys that's it it's all in here except for the toys the toys are gonna go in johnny's backpack because of course we need another backpack for all of our electronics we can't check those in so that's just yeah now we just have two bags that we're gonna carry on and that's it I'll put all of these items in the description for you guys in case you want a list. If it helps you, wonderful. If there's anything else, suggestions for future flights, please put it in comments to share. That would be great. And until next time, bye!